I have made it to California after like 12 hours of traveling. Hi everyone! The audio is probably bad because of the AC um, just started going off. But I am in California. I am in San Jose. Actually, I'm in Sunnyvale. I think I'm currently in Sunnyvale. But I'm here for less than 48 hours. I'm here tonight tomorrow and then I leave the next morning. I'm tired. I had a 7.30 a.m. flight. I had a five hour layover in LA and then I had another flight to get to San Jose, which was like a really quick trip, but it's just been a long travel day. I've been up really early. My sleep schedule and my eating schedule has been totally off, but I'm doing a little solo trip here. It's for Rella, so I'll talk about that later. But first things first, I need to shower. I don't know about you, but I feel like Every time I get on a plane, I just feel so gross. And like, I feel like I like smell bad. And like, I don't know, I just, I need a shower. So I'm gonna shower and then I'm gonna get ready for dinner because I'm gonna take myself out on a little date. And then I need to come back and do a tiny bit of work and then go to bed. But it's still really early here. It's only five o'clock. So I'm gonna try to be in bed by like 8 p.m. So let's do this. There really is nothing better than a hotel robe. Like this is not even like that great of a hotel robe. I mean, it's pretty good. It feels like a sweatshirt. Like look, it's giving like this sweatshirt material, sweatshirt material. So it's pretty good, it's pretty good. It's no barefoot dreams, but it's good. But like immediately shower, put it on. But now I'm about to get dressed and I'm really craving some ramen and I'm in California. So I feel like the Asian food here is always better than the Asian food on the East Coast. So I am going to try to find a good ramen place. And if that's not available, then I might get Mexican food. But I think ramen should be good. And I'm not gonna put makeup on. I'm breaking out so much. It's really annoying because I've obviously struggled with acne for a long time. My skin finally cleared. I ran out of my supplements. And I was like, oh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'll order them, I'll order them. Didn't order them, so didn't have them for like two weeks. And this is what happens, so yeah. But I don't care because I'm going by myself. So I'm not going to put makeup on and I'm gonna enjoy my date for one getting hopefully some good ramen. All right, it is 6.45 a.m. and I am all ready because I am working East Coast hours. I'm already like late for East Coast, you know, because it's 9.45 there. But I woke up this morning at 4.30 and I was like, no, I need to go back to bed. I'm not waking up at 4.30. So, I woke up at 6 a.m., um, which is when I had my alarm set because I did want to get a lot of sleep. I just felt like I've been traveling a lot. I haven't gotten a lot of sleep. So I was like, I'm going to use this opportunity to get some sleep. I to go live on Instagram at 7 a.m. because we are releasing something new for Rella. So I'll talk about that in a second, but it's super, super cool. I think so many of you will find it so useful. So we want to do more of like a marketing push around it. So I'm going to go live in a few minutes. Natasha's going to moderate. We're going to talk all about like brand deals and everything like that. Um, this is what I'm wearing today to the event or to the, um, conference. And I immediately make a mess whenever I go to hotels. Like, it's, like, impossible for me not to. Like, that suitcase just open and a mess. A mess. I guess I'll just, like, put this, like, on my suitcase so that they can make the bed easily. I want to bring my laptop. But that bag is so heavy, so I need to, like, unload that entire bag so that i can just bring my laptop because i don't have any other bag that i can bring my laptop in so i mean i guess i could just bring the whole thing but it's like literally like probably like 30 pounds that's the situation i had no patience to do my hair so i just put it back in a ponytail i'm meeting someone for coffee this morning crystal we've been following each other for a really really long time she lives here like 10 minutes away so i was like yeah let's get coffee i'm gonna meet her at 8 a.m i'm gonna come back here i'm gonna practice the pitch because i've been doing that last night and this morning and then i need to figure out what time i need to be there let me look at let me look at the schedule again i'm getting nervous all of a sudden and i want to like make the most of this since i flew all the way here I'm going on at 2.04, very, very, very specific, but it starts at 1.30, and I think we need to meet her before, like, at 1. Please check with me and arrive 30 minutes before your scheduled pitch time. We'll start up to, okay, so get there at, like, 1. I'm going to bring all my stuff to get coffee so I don't have to come back here. Okay, I'm not nervous at all. I am nervous. <laughs> I 
realized that I hadn't described why I was actually here and what this conference was about. So it was plug and play Silicon Valley Tech Summit where they invite a bunch of startups in their portfolio and also just that they feel are a good fit for this summit. So we're not a portfolio company of theirs, but they had invited us to speak in the media side of things and just talk about what we're building at Rella. We actually recently closed our round of funding. So I'm going to do a video all about that. So we weren't actually looking for investors, but we were looking for people that we could potentially partner with. Also just getting on corporations radars and other brands radars and also other investors for future rounds. And I'm so grateful for the plug and play team for not only thinking about Rella, but just inviting me to speak and pitch. And it's always great practice to do that. And if you guys have any questions about networking, about presenting, about pitching, about fundraising, let me know because I would love to do a deep dive and do a video all about that. And I am back. The pitch went really well. I was so nervous. I get so shaky whenever I need to present in front of people, but it went really well. And afterwards, people came up to me and said that it was one of the best pitches and that they really loved it and that it was very clear and articulate. And I just got to thank YouTube for making me a storyteller because I think that is why I do well in pitches is because I can story tell. Um, I just got back to my hotel and I called an Uber that's gonna be here in four minutes so I actually need to put my shoes on. Um, but I'm gonna go to the Apple Visitor Center because I'm right next to Apple's headquarters and they have a really cool building. It's like that big circle building and I really wanna see it if I'm here. So I'm gonna go explore. I have kind of a stomach ache, but I'm still gonna go explore and then I, uh, Crystal from this morning showed me or told me about this like row of streets that, or this row of like shops that's really cute here called like Santana Row. It's a mall. So and then I'm gonna go there afterwards. I'll probably get dinner. I'll probably get an early dinner. There's a dinner with all of the startups tonight at Levi Stadium, which is like where the 49ers play. I can't go. I'm way too tired. I am wiped. So I'm probably gonna get an early dinner and just explore the Apple Park and like go shopping um and then head back so I'm very very happy about that and another thing i noticed is that san francisco or i guess i'm not in san francisco i'm in the bay area i'm in um santa clara slash sunnyvale slash cupertino like and just like near there um there are no women in tech like this i at this conference there were so few women and like i just want more women to be in tech so if you're a woman in tech, let me know because I swear there is not that many of us out there. Good morning. I now have to clean this room. How do I make a mess in literally one day? I was here for one day and I need to leave in like an hour. So we're gonna clean, but I also wanted to show you a haul because I went shopping yesterday and I don't know how this stuff is gonna fit in my suitcase because my suitcase was already incredibly full when I got here. Um, so I didn't really think that through, but let me show you what I got. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm looking real cute right now with this, you know, globe on my forehead. Anyways, I went to Brandy Melville. I always feel so so old when I go to Brandy Melville because it's a bunch of like 13 year olds and I am 26 but there is something about their basics they have great basics and I don't care how old you are they're cute and they're cheap I went and I got this button down because finding a good solid button down you like I don't know prices have gone up so much like I cannot find a good button down for less than $70 this was $32 so I really like it. It's just a very classic button down that you can layer. Um, it feels like it's good material, it's pretty thick. And I have some brandy stuff that I've been wearing since like I was in college. So like the stuff does not, it's not bad quality. Um, but yeah, I got this plain white button down. I think it's really cute. And then I used to have Brandy Melville sweatpants and I don't know what happened to them. Maybe they're at home, maybe I lost them, maybe I left them somewhere but these are the most comfortable sweatpants you will ever wear. And so I just got this like plain gray sweatpants that like bunch at the bottom. I've just been missing them. Um, and I'm obsessed with Brandy sweatpants. Like these are so good. And they're only 30 bucks as well, or like $32. Then I went to Nike and I got a few things. So I'm very into just like plain basics and comfort. So I got this sweatshirt from Nike, plain black sweatshirt with the Nike logo in the middle. 
I'll probably wear this to the airport today. And then I also just got this like plain tank top that I thought was really cute. And like, again, another basic that I feel like is just like a really, I don't know, I'm gonna feel put together wearing this. And then I got this sports bra that I thought was so cute. It's like a polo sports bra and it has a zipper and it says Nike Air. And I've been playing tennis lately and I feel like this would be so cute to wear when I'm playing tennis with like a little tennis skirt. And I just loved it. Like I love the high neck, how it just like cuts off like right at the bottom of your boob. Like I think it's like really, really, really cute. Today I just went and got dinner by myself. It was actually such a mediocre restaurant. So I really regretted spending that money at that restaurant. Like I, there were so much better restaurants I could have gone to, but it's okay. And then I came back and I went to bed at like nine o'clock and i woke up this morning had a meeting and now i have to pack so my camera's gonna die so i'm gonna switch off the battery soon but i had to pack and now i'm getting ready to go back to miami finally i feel like i've been gone from miami for so long and it's only been a week a little it's been a week and a day anyways i'm excited to get back so i need to pack and do all of that stuff um and hopefully everything fits in my suitcase mm -hmm.